Yeah, in honor of the late Robin Williams, you know, from Morton Mindy. And when the celebrities got to the red carpet, well, Sarah Silverman, when being interviewed by E, opened their purse to reveal this. Look what she's holding up. That is liquid pot, she calls it. The pen is perfectly legal in the state of California with a prescription. And there's Heidi Klum who used the network's manicure can to not show her manicure, but to twerk. And, you know, she might regret that. And this is Hayden Pinotaire. Uh, she used the event as the first outing since announcing she's pregnant, revealing she is having a baby girl cradling her baby bum. And another entertainment news, Mike Yaps, known for his role in The Hangover, is now apparently the lead in the upcoming Richard Pryor biopic. And Forbes has released the highest paid TV actors of the year. Leading the charge is Ashton Kutcher, earning $26 million this year. Is two and a half men still this huge? Yep, or, 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 or do they just get big yeah, contracts? Yeah, look at John Cryer, his co-star, $19 million bucks. And third, How I Met Your Mother star Neil Patrick Harris with $18 million. Bucks. Who would have thought that Ducky from Pretty in Pink and Doogie from Growing Up would see that much money these days, right? Comedy still rule because they get to play over and over on the, you know, well, the reruns. The Price is Right is also uh, making news looking for a second male model. The show is starting a nationwide search for a model hoping to sell for the cars and helping those contestants win. What about Thomas Roberts? Maybe he could be a male model there. Let's he see. could do it. Here you go.